Hello and welcome to the chakras. I'm really excited for the next 11 days where on each day for the next 11 days we're going to explore one of your chakras. I want to start with a brief introduction as to what it is that the chakras actually are. What are we talking about when we say your chakra system? So I want you to imagine this. Within your body you have energy centers that connect to and reflect certain areas of your human experience. And these are known as chakras, which is a Sanskrit word that means basically spinning wheel. Now the concept and idea of chakras is fairly new to Western culture. However, many cultures around the world from way back, as far back as we can go in time and understanding, have had a connection to and a knowing about these energy centers within our bodies and have worked within those energy centers in order to help maintain their energy system, to have clear and balanced experience of energy flowing all throughout their bodies. Within your body, you have the seven main chakras. These are the ones that most people in Western culture are familiar with. You have your root chakra, which is right down at your base of your spine and right above your pelvis bone. You have your sacral chakra, which is between your belly button and your pelvic bone. And, oh, and the first one is red. Your root chakra is red. Your sacral chakra is often depicted as orange. As you move up, you get into your solar plexus. This is the spot between your belly button and where your ribs meet. And this is your solar plexus, and it's usually depicted as yellow. You move up into your heart center. This is your heart chakra, and its color is green. You have a throat chakra. Topaz blue is often the color that is associated with your throat chakra. You have your third eye chakra, which is indigo. Your crown chakra, which is half in and half out of your physical body. And violet or light, light purple is often associated with that crown chakra. Now within your, phys your whole physical system, in fact, you have hundreds of chakras. Every single joint in your body has a chakra in it, has an energy center in it. These are called the minor chakras, not because they're less important, just because they take up less space, they're smaller. When all of your chakras are flowing and open, you are experiencing full health, whatever that means to you. When you are feeling achy or sore or stiff, that indicates that there's, some, there's a blockage somewhere in your system, in your chakra system. And so the work that we do with your chakras is to focus on that area of your body and do the clearing work that is necessary for that energy center to be clear and balanced. And I'll be going into more detail about all of that as we go through the next 11 days connecting in with each of your various chakras. Now you'll notice I'm saying 11 days, although I've only described seven chakras to you and the minor chakras. But in fact, throughout your whole system, you have at least 11 major chakras and we're discovering more all the time. We begin with our foot chakra. The bottom of your feet, each foot has a chakra center. Our hands have chakras right here and here. We have an eighth chakra, which is up above our body in our aura or our energy field. And we have a ninth chakra, which is right here, bringing the energy back from the eighth chakra. And I am really excited to share with you these other chakra centers as well as the seven main chakras. So without further ado, we'll get started. Stay tuned for your foot chakra.